The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm going to be showcasing my Nintendo Switch collection. I've owned a Nintendo Switch for about two years. My wife got me one on my birthday two years ago, and I'm really excited to see where they're going to go with this console. I've, I've collected many physical copies of games. I do actually own more digital copies, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And I want to talk today about, you know, kind of what now? Where does the Nintendo Switch go? And what do I think of it? Has my opinion changed? Let's check it out. All right, I'm going to showcase my Nintendo collection so far. That is my Switch. I've had it two years. No problems, really. It's been a great console, and my kids play it a lot. And, you know, it's, it's, it's served my family well. And I'm not the only one that plays my Nintendo Switch. In fact, both my kids really enjoy playing it. Here's some of the kids' games that I've either acquired or have been sent to me. The top two are my my daughter's favorite games, and that's NBA 2K19 and Just Dance 2019. She loves NBA 2K19. She loves playing it. She's not the greatest at it, but she enjoys it. And I, I actually picked up a, a Starlink. It was actually sent to me. And I uh, haven't played a ton of it. need to play more of it. So I have... A couple of collector's editions in my collection. The SNK 40th Anniversary Collection is a great one for you know classic SNK games with some digital download stuff as well that they've added for free. Axiom Verge, you know, I heard about that and I had to pick it up. And Toki, the Retro Lector Edition. Yes, I did a video of that on my channel. Some of these I did videos of, others I didn't. Uh, others I haven't even opened. I just uh, it's just something that I've collected games over time, and I still have some that I need to check out. Uh, Puyo Puyo and Tetris. I think Tetris 99, the free version of Tetris out now, is awesome. That this is another Tetris combo that came out a while back. It's okay. Troll, Troll and I, one of the worst games for the Nintendo Switch. Other people have covered it. I picked it up, and it's pretty bad. Wild Guns Reloaded, pretty tough game. I enjoy playing it, but I'm not any great at it. So I'm not <laughs> something that something that I need to, I wish I was better at playing. Arms, Arms was a fun one. I did a video uh, with my family and my kids still play this. Splatoon 2, I like Splatoon 2. In fact, I was just on Facebook kind of commenting. I, I think Splatoon 2 is kind of like a, uh, love or hate kind of game. It's kind of like it's 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 got its fans. It's got people that love it There's other people that that see it for what it could have been And so I had some issues with the online multiplayer and playing with friends But I think there's enough content there and there's a lot of people that like it I, I think for an online shooter for Nintendo. It's not bad Mario Rabbits Kingdom Battle amazing kind of hidden gem um, uh, For the Nintendo switch. This is a great Weird combination, and I'm really glad that they made it. Great strategy game. Hopefully they make a sequel. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey, in my opinion, one of the best games on the console. And played that quite a bit with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Great Genesis collection. I got that sent to me. Thank you, Justin. And my very first game that I had for the console has been Heroes. It's not a great game. But I think when it first came out, it was an inexpensive game. Had to check it out. Uh, it sold pretty decent. They actually did a reprint of it, and so with a different cover on it. Ultra Street Fighter 2, not a great game. Uh, there's a Street Fighter collection, and that's actually what I eventually want to pick up. Siamora EX, and it's a it's a pretty good game. I haven't checked out it a ton. I've played it on other things, but there is a Switch version. I got it on sale, and. Uh, Nikalis uh, had several games released on the Switch. I have a few of them. Tiny Barbarian, The Binding of Isaac, which is great, and Cave Story Plus. Uh, they also, I think, distributed Wonder Boy. I have a different uh, distributor version of Wonder Boy, but it's pretty cool. 
I even have some of the limited run games. I picked up a PRGE. That's Slime Son and Flint Hook. And Flint Hook, I played Flint Hook on my friend's Switch. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. I really like Flint Hook as a um, as a game. I think it's a it's great that Limited Run Games is making Switch titles. Darkest Dungeon was something I uh, was recommended to me from a friend, and I didn't really like it actually. <laughs> I just I tried to get into it, and it just wasn't my thing. But I did pick it up, and the Gunvolt Striker Pack, and so I, I really like that. And of course Diablo, which I play a digital version on my Nintendo Switch, but I got a physical copy sent to me. And Diablo, if you haven't checked out Diablo 3, it's a great Nintendo Switch title, and you know it's great for people that haven't played the Diablo series to jump right in. It's, it's a good game. Uh, there's some other games I wouldn't mind getting into my collection. The Skyrim, I would like mind getting a physical copy of Skyrim and some other, some other things. Yes, I'm missing Breath of the Wild, and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. I also have a lot of the Super Rare games. I have picked them up over time. Either I did a video on my channel or I purchased them. Human Fall Flat. I have well, I first, like, let's see, first six? Seven. I have the first seven copies of this. Human Fall Flat, Flame of the Flood, Shelter Generations, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, Mutant Muds Collection, Worms, WMD, and N++. And so, you know, those are cool uh, super rare games. They do physical copies of indie titles, and they're always coming out with a new game every month. I think it's pretty cool. And that's it. You know, it's not really huge. It's not a huge collection. I don't have a lot of the collector's editions. There's, a, you know, hundreds of games out for the console already. It's only been out two years. And so this is something that I want to collect more. But this is just my personal collection. This is things that I picked up and that I'm either playing or want to play or, you know, st stuff that, you know, it, is sentimental to me. So there you go. That's my collection so far. So my opinion has changed of the Nintendo Switch over time. I still have some concerns about it, but I, I think those concerns have mostly been addressed. I, I am really excited about the Xbox Game Pass that was recently announced. And so I think, you know, Nintendo working with Microsoft is going to be awesome. I, I, I do think that they need some heavy hitter titles to come out. I'm not worried about them delivering on it as much. You know, I think there's a lot of people that would like less ports. But, you know, for collectability wise, it's been just overwhelmingly awesome. And so there's a lot of collector's editions and, and packages and games that I don't have. Uh, most notably, you probably noticed that I don't have Breath of the Wild. And I got Breath of the Wild for the Wii U, and I started playing on that. I still have it hooked up in my daughter's bedroom, and my son still occasionally plays it. And so that's something of why I haven't got Breath of the Wild on Nintendo Switch yet. But I do plan on doing that. You know, for me, I've been playing a lot of Xbox One, and, you know, so that's been a majority of my gaming time. And so for me, and, and as well as getting a lot of digital copies of games... One thing about the Nintendo Switch is that, you know, there's an active eShop and a lot of indie titles are offered at an affordable price. So I do pick up a lot of indie games that way. But I have to say, I have to say that there's more and more companies now making physical copies of games in these like limited batches. And I think that's pretty awesome for the collectors out there. I think the Nintendo Switch is going to be highly collectible in the future. And, you know, there's a ton of games coming out for it. And so... I think it's going to have an appeal to both collectors and gamers, and it's kind of the, the, the happy medium. And so, uh, you know, and, and for Nintendo, it's really kind of the, their focused console right now. You know, in the past, they've always had like a handheld and a console, and, and, really, and really moving forward, it, it feels like Nintendo Switch is kind of really focusing on one console, that, and, and I think that's going to be good for the company. So comment below. Uh, do you collect for the Nintendo Switch? How's your collection? What's your favorite? I would love to hear from you folks. And so I, I really had fun showcasing my humble collection. You know, it's not like some of my other collections, which is vast and crazy, but you know, Nintendo Switch is still fairly new. I, I typically in my collection buy a lot of games uh, used. And so I'm going to be waiting over time to, to be adding to my collection. I'm pursuing other Nintendo collections right now. I'm pursuing Wii U still. 
I'm still collecting GameCube. You know, those are the types of collections that I'm kind of focusing right now. And Nintendo Switch is fairly new, so games typically are still full price. Your money doesn't go as far when you're buying new games. And so I know that a lot of these games will drop in price. They can be found used. And that's when I'm gonna typically be getting more games for my collection. Anyways, thank you so much for the ongoing support. It has been wonderful to uh, have this journey with you and to share my collection online. And I look forward to doing many more videos, and I'm almost there at 80,000 subs. Also, if you want to support me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, you get an exclusive video. Sometimes it's a behind the scenes, sometimes it's like uh, what I'm going to be showcasing in the future, and all of it helps me. Thank you so much. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.